Okay, so this is team number six. Today our presentation is on HIV and treatment target. Um, the objective is to talk about what HIV is, give an understanding about the molecular disease of HIV, um, talk about the different classes of drugs available to treat HIV, the MOA of the drugs, and the side effect. Um, the outline for today, um, I'm going to do the introduction. Thomas will do the cell and molecular biology of the disease. Tree will talk about the drug target. Lynn and then talk about the drug classes, MOA, the side effect. And in the end, Yula will talk about the summary. Um, so to start with the introduction, HIV is a human immunodeficiency virus. It can lead to acquired immune um, deficiency syndrome, ACE. Um, according to CDC, estimates that about 56,000 people in the United States contract with HIV in 2006. The earliest known case of infection with HIV-1 in a human was detected in a blood sample collected in 1959 from a man in Kansasa. HIV is spread primarily by not using condom, unprotected sex, um, having multiple sex partners, or the presence of other sexually transmitted disease, sharing needles or other equipment used to repair illicit drugs for injection, being born to an infected mother. Um, HIV damages a person's body by destroying specific blood cell CD4 T cell. Um, an opportunistic infection is when the CD4 T cells are below 500 cells per microliter, liter, or when I'm having AIDS, it's when the CD4 T cells are below 200 cells per microliter. Um, HIV can infect macrophage and dendritic cells. It comes in two forms of HIV, HIV-1, which is more violent and is the cause of AIDS. HIV-2 is less violent and it can progress to AIDS. It leads to failure of the immune system and life-threatening condition. Um, currently, the therapy for HIV are included combination therapy, highly active um, antiretroviral therapy, and these therapy are, included, include, are using a combination of the following drug classes. Um, and Lynn and Dan will talk about these drug classes later. All right, a little bit about the cellular and molecular biology of the HIV virus. Um, it's an RNA retrovirus, which means that it is it goes from RNA to DNA instead of being transcribed from uh, DNA to RNA, like most normal um, viruses. Uh, the nucleocapsid is enclosed by a lipid envelope that contains the GP120 and GP41 proteins. These are glycoproteins that are involved in the um, reception and fusion of the HIV virus to the host cells genome, or the host cells outer membranes. Um, the RNA genome is enclosed in a uh, nucleocapsid and it has nine genes. Uh, some of the proteins that are transcribed are protease, integrase, reverse transcriptase, and main targets of the HIV virus are CD4 expressing T cells. Here's a list of the specific genes and the proteins that they code for. And you can see the first three, um, GAG, POL, and NV are the three most important because they're involved with um, the allocation and transcription of most important proteins that are involved in the replication of the uh, viral genome. Now the actual process, the, the virin binds to the CD4 and code receptor on a T cell, which is mediated by the GP120 and GP41 proteins. Um, after that, the envelope fuses with the cell membrane and the viral genome enters the cell. After that, the reverse transcriptase <coughs> uh, copies the viral RNA genome into a double-stranded cDNA. And then the cDNA is integrated into the host DNA by integrase. After that, when the T cell becomes activated, this actually uh, begins transcription of the provirus, but it's at a lower level. Um, some of the transcripts that are synthesized, such as TAT and REV, actually increase the transcription level of the RNA genome, uh, or the insert into the, the genome. Uh, after that, GAGPOL and ENVY are made and assembled with viral RNA into virins. 
Um, they travel to the outer membrane where they are formed into the new uh, virin and eventually blood off from the cell and go on to infect another healthy cell. Next, I will talk about HIV treatment targets. There's a six targets, including four enzymes and two glycoproteins. The, two, the four enzymes are the nucleotide reverse transcriptase, non-nucleotide reverse transcriptase, uh, proteins and integrase, and the two glycoproteins is uh, the glycoprotein GP41 and GP120. Here is the picture of HIV life cycle demonstrations. Uh, the six targets are those uh, blocking the entry, the fusion of the, uh, the virus into the, um, the host uh, cytoplasm and uh, the integrase um, inhibition, uh, inhibitions and um, replication inhibitions and also cutting off inhibitions. Now I'm going to, to talk about the HIV drug class, the acid drug class. The first class is integrin inhibitor. The mechanism of action is inhibit the enzyme integrin activity. It's preventing HIV DNA from entering host DNA and forming a provirus. The medication is isentry, side effect are nausea, diarrhea, flexulin, headache, dizziness, uh, abnormal dream, rash, fracture, and muscle pain. The special note not those dependent resistant occur if there is a mutation on the integrin gene. Flosin inhibitor is bind to the protein of the CD4 cell so that HIV outer code cannot bind to the protein on the CD4 cell and enter the cell. And the medication is flosanon and is inject only. The side effects are allergic reaction, increasing risk of bacteria infection, insomnia, depression, decreasing appetite, fatigue, muscle pain, con constipation, mus muscle problem. Special note, resistant taking non longer to develop than other HIV medication class. Entry inhibitor, it binds, it inhibits GP120, the medication is sustentry, side effects are cough, fever, cold, rash, muscle, and joint pain, stomach pain, dizziness, and liver toxicity. It's contraindication for renal impaired patients and increasing cardiovascular risk. It interacts with CYP-CA inhi inhibitor and inducer. Non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, or NNRTI, bind to reverse transcriptase and prevent transcription of RNA to DNA. Some drugs include intellins and viramune. Side effects include nausea, rashes, diarrhea, vomiting, abdominal pain, tiredness, tingling, pain on the hands and feet, and numbness. Sestiva side effects include sleepiness, dizziness, trouble concentrating, liver problems, depression, angry behavior, Rash. It can interact with antibiotics, antifungals, antihistamines, antipsychotics, GERD medication, heart medication, sedatives, and anti-migraine medications. It can cause false positives on drug tests. And Rescriptor, which can cause skin rash, nausea, diarrhea, headache, and fatigue, and also interact with the same type of drugs. Nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, or NRTI, inhibit reverse transcriptase by attaching to the end of the forming DNA strand and prevent the elongation of DNA. These medications are chemically preactivated and require less processing to become active in the body. Examples include Vareed, Mtriva, Epivir, Retrovir, Zerit, and Ziagen. And some side effects to watch out for are lactic acidosis, liver problems, allergic reactions, and stomach pain. Protease inhibitors inhibit the enzyme protease, which allows HIV protein to be cleaved and form new viruses. Example includes Viracep. Side effects include diarrhea, headache, loss of appetite, malaise, nausea, and vomiting. Can interact with rifampin, statins, Viagra, and Cialis, St. John's wort. Antibiotics, anti-migraine medications, anti and acid reflux medications. And if a person has resistance to one protease inhibitor, 
there's a high probability of being resistant to all of them. Here are some more of the protease inhibitors, Rayataz, Prezista, Norvir, Lixiva, Inverase, Crisivan, to sum up our presentation, we did the human immunodeficiency virus, which is a retrovirus. And the proteins that are contained in the HIV nucleocapsid are the protease, integrase, and the reverse transcriptase. All of these proteins are necessary for the RNA viral genome to be incorporated into the host DNA genome. The HIV targets and destroys CD4 T cells, macrophages, and dendritic cells. The viral D RNA hides as DNA in the host genome as a latent provirus. Therefore, it's very hard to get 100% cure for this, this disease. Also, mutant HIV um, strains accumulate due to the no proofreading from the reverse transcriptase. So to try to treat the symptoms, we use a combination therapy and heart and this prevents mutations from occurring and it also hits the virus at many different points and it prevents drug resistance. The original drug cocktail is NRTI and NRTI and PI. Again, these meds will not be a cure but it will increase the quality of life for the patient. And these are our references.